Here we've got a wall that's been rendered and the big problem with rendered walls is they tend to be absorbent. So this wall, when it rains, gets very wet and then when it gets wet, the moisture tends to stay in the wall. So when it freezes, there's a good chance that it's going to start cracking all over the place. So what we're going to do is we're going to paint it. But before you paint render, you need to seal it first with an appropriate sealer. So here we've got a stabilizing solution, which is what you paint onto the wall before you apply your paint. So we're going to apply this today and then tomorrow we're going to actually paint the wall. So whenever you're using anything like this, it's essential that you read the safety instructions on the back. So I've read those, I've got my safety sunglasses on and I've got my protective gloves on. Uh, I've given it a good shake so it's all shaken up. And then I've emptied a reasonable amount of it into a paint kettle. And I've got a decent sized brush. So now I can actually start to stabilise this wall and then when it's dry tomorrow we should be able to paint straight onto it. So if you use a larger size brush, which is a, a four inch one of this, it'll make it a lot easier and you'll get the area covered a lot quicker. One thing you can't do with uh, stabilising solution is spray it on. You've either got to paint it on with a brush or paint it on with a roller. But you can see immediately that that is soaking straight in there because the surface is very absorbent. So we stabilised the wall yesterday with a stabilising solution and today we're going to paint it using the masonry paint. So again you need to read the instructions on this and this particular paint we need to give it a good stir before we use it so we're just going to use this piece of chrome tubing. You can use a stick or uh, anything really to stir it up or if you're doing it regularly you can get a mixer that fits in an electric drill for mixing your paint. So we're just going to give it a good mix and make sure that the paints mixed up thoroughly before we start painting. We're also using a 4 inch brush on this wall. And you'll also notice that we've put a dust sheet down. That's to stop any paint spills from going on the actual floor itself. It's always a good idea to put something like this down when you're painting a wall. So whenever you're painting, you only need to keep the tip of your brush covered in paint. What you don't want to do is dunk it straight in there and have paint going everywhere. Because if you get it coming down to this part here, it's just going to go all over the place. It's a lot easier to control the paint you're putting on if you keep to about there on your brush. So I'm just going to dip it in there and then clean off any excess on the side. So that should then make it easier for when you cut it in on edges like that where you need to go up to something. On a surface like this you're going to have to make sure you work the paint into the actual holes on the wall. So that often means going in several directions. So when you come to a point where you need to cut in, if you just use the side of the brush and just drag it like that, you should get a, a neatish edge. If you look on this pillar, you'll see that we've got galvanised angle beading behind the render and uh, that can cause you a few problems. If you look a bit lower down this angle bead, 
you'll see that it started to go rusty there and that is a, a very common problem so we need to address that before we paint over it with the masonry paint so what we're going to do is we're going to get a wire brush and we're just going to clean off a little bit of the rust and then we're going to apply some Zinzer Bullseye 123 which is an external sealer so once you've painted this onto that bead it will seal it and it'll prevent any rust from bleeding through and it'll also make it waterproof so that no water can actually penetrate through and get through to the angle bead again but like all paints you need to read the instructions first so now we're just going to get a, a paintbrush and we're just going to paint down the corner now just to seal it and prevent any future problems from occurring So now you can see that we've painted both of the edges where the galvanised angle bead is. And the good thing is that that particular stain block that we've used will be dry in 30 minutes. So in 30 minutes time we can give that a coat of the masonry paint. So when you're finished you should end up with a wall looking something like this.